Welcome to Arcas Radio, the podcast by Open Space Foundation. I am Maria Ventura and I will be your host on today's podcast. This is the third episode of our podcast and it will be a special program related with the European elections celebrated the last 26th of May. Before going on, let me introduce you my partners, Tim Luet from France and Alberto Redighieri from Italy. During the last weeks of May and until the 26th, all the countries around Europe have witnessed a huge campaign for the European Parliament elections. This campaign was aiming everyone to vote due to the usual low rates of participation in these elections in the past. Europe has finally expressed the desire to proceed towards European and non-nationalist policies, something that didn't seem obvious until now, but that makes us realize about the amount of work that's still to do in order to keep the democratic claim alive in Europe. The structure of the European Parliament has not shifted much, but for the first time the European People's Party, the group with more representatives, probably will take in consideration to form a three-party government with Social Democrats and with a group of Liberal Democrats from the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats of Europe. Today, in Arcats Radio, we want to know more about what people think about European elections, their personal aims to go on vote or not to do it, and what they think would be the trend for the future.
Despite the big campaign promoted by the European Union calling people to vote this time, the rates always give low participation in these elections. What are the reasons? What's the opinion of the people about this matter? We've been in some polling stations to ask about the topic and these have been their answers. What's your name? Andrei. And you're from here, from Bulgaria? Yes, I am. Yeah. And um, why do you think it's important to come here to vote today? I want to show her how to vote. Oh, that's very really nice. And um, have you ever voted before for the European Parliament? I don't remember. Okay. And um, do you think uh, something will be different with these elections or will be the same? That it will be the same. Just yeah. uh, so you think people is not really interested? Yes. Yeah. And why it's do you... Uh, because it's... Yes. Uh -huh. it's There's no consequence. Uh, yes. Okay. So you think people maybe have lost the interest in politics? Or? Maybe. Maybe, mm -hmm. yes. They are not interested anymore. Yes. Okay. And you think they need more information to be interested again or that won't happen again? Maybe they need more information, yes. Mm -hmm. So politics should be more involved with people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, why do you think it's important to vote today? Ами, мисля, че е важно винаги да се гласува, защото а, това е начин на ние да участваме в а, процесите, в управлението. А, и от нас зависят нещата, в крайна сметка. Трябва да си дадем гласа, защото <laughs> трябва ние да сме активни и да участваме. Yes. Благодарявам. Uh, the ladies think that it's very important to voting because in this way we show that something depends on us and we have a chance to, to give our opinion and to participate. And uh, have you ever voted before for the parliament, for the European parliament? Преди гласували ли сте за Европейски парламент? Да. Yes. And do you think people uh, is interested in that or they are not really into voting for the European Parliament? Не се знае, че хората се интересуват от това да гласуват за Европейския парламент. Ами, май по-скоро... По-скоро не, сякаш. At least no. We're not so interested in this. So maybe they should have more information to come to vote? Може би да имат повече информация да идват да гласуват или нещо друго смятате, че е причината да нямат интерес към... Не по-скоро... Не е въпрос на липса на информация, по-скоро... Това е... Един вид отрицателен вод за някои, а други пък мислят, че няма смисъл. What are your names first? Uh, Rasi. Rasi yeah. Georgi. Okay. Uh, why do you think it's important to be today here to vote? Because this is my only right to vote. Because this is my only my rights according to the constitution to come and to vote. Yes, it is possible. This is our right and it's nice to using these rights and to voting. So usually you always come to vote. Yeah. And do you think people think like you or not? Специално за европейските, за европейски парламент, че ми е ще е по-нисък според мен. Специално за европейските парламент, че интерес за вотинка е лоуест. Но ако ще бъде за българския парламент, ще бъде по-различно. И какви са вашите очаквания за днес? 
Results. Писани очакванията от резултатите нас. Аз знам, че за които съм гласувал, няма да спечели. Защото сме малък, но много прост народ. Малките населени места много ги сплашват хората и строи всички. And especially in the small villages, people get scared and they're going for voting as a, as a real group and with the direction for what they should vote. There's no one who works in the public sector and they're forced to vote for the future. In the small villages where people don't have a job and they, should, they are forced to, to voting for a lead party of the public They should keep their job and their position. Да, вярвам, че нещо мога да променя с този избор. And for that reason, I didn't believe that I can change something with this election. But, но въпреки това сте тук. Еми да. So, first of all, your names are? Павел. Павел и... Okay, so why do you think it's important to come today to vote? Защо мислите, че е важно да дадете да гласувате? Ами, защото това зависи и пълъж. От нашите гласове. Have you seen a lot of people coming today to vote? Мислите, че много хора ще дадат днес да гласуват? Ами, като гледаме доста ниска активността. Probably no, the activities, it's not so much, not so high today, so that it's not good. Uh, I will give one question. Баща ти форсира ли да ти дойдеш да гласуваш? Ти не гласува. Тя не е пълнолетна. Добре. Това си за компания. Окей. She is not have uh, yet right to, to voting, just come to observe and for a company. But uh, in the future, will you be interested in voting and you think it's important? Мина, може би. Ще имам интерес да го съм. На колко години си сега? 15. 15. А, имаш време за следващите избори. Да. А мислите, че заради това, че са Европейския парламент, е така ниска активността, ако бяха местните избори... Може би ще ще да е малко по-висок. Така мисля. If it's for the Vilian Parliament, maybe the activity will be... So, what are your expectations for today's results? Няма очак. Не знам. It's without expectation. And do you think the interest on the European Parliament will change in the future or not? The interest of the people in coming to vote? Ви сте ли, че интересът на хората към Европейския парламент би се променил в бъдеще? И на следващите избори по-скоро биха гласували повече млади хора. Ти какво мислиш в твоето поколение? Как е по този въпрос? За Европа и дали да сме част от Европа? А, и... Не мисляме. The father, it's hope, but the girl say that her generation, it's not so many in this topic. They didn't discuss a lot about the topic. No, she's sleeping because yesterday she was in the prom. Факта, че моите деца и двете ще останат в България и да учат, включително и кандидат студентската ни и да си живеят. Uh, and the both girls has uh, plans to stay in Bulgaria, to live and to study, and they believe in the future of Bulgaria. Seven times I've been in the United на екскурзии, кандидат да оставам и така нататък и винаги се връщам тук. От тук по-хубаво няма. So you think, uh, what do you think will be the results today? You think it will be good for Bulgaria or? What do you think the results of the voting today? Good for Bulgaria? I hope it will be good for Bulgaria, because 
социалистите, включително и те имат в лицето на Станишев някакви добри попадения, така че се надявам да бъде на ред. I hope to have a good result. Uh, but this is mean that you tell us for which... Извинявайте. Да, няма проблем. Говорите за Станишев в социалистите, това означава, че симпатизирате на тях и ни казвате за които Не, аз не симпатизирам на тях, но те са малко крива хурка, така да се кажа, но пък в негово лице виждам, че има правилна посока. Аз съм гласувал за хора на различни хора, които пак ще победят. Не, тайна. Но мислите, че социалистите също ще имат вод? Или? Ще имат. Почти наравно с тези гет. So, yeah, the, the thinking is that uh, the both the political group socialist and GERB will have their representative and even that the socialist has, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain this in English, <laughs> we'll search some uh, uh, to, to translate, but in, in any case, they also have uh, some good uh, benefit in this case. So. But the ladies, it's not for a socialist. <laughs> okay. She's voting for something else. But in, in any case, she said that in both political groups has um, some contribution. To okay. okay, so thank you. Merci. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, uh, what's your name? Eva. Uh-huh. Okay. And why do you think it's important to come here to vote today? Uh, well, first of all, Not every country has the ability to vote, so we live in a country where we can vote, and I believe we should. And so have you voted before for the European Parliament? No, never. No, so it's your first time. Yes. Um, do you think uh, people is really interested in coming to vote? Or Probably not, because I see a lot of commercials on television now really stimulating people to come and vote, so I think this means in the past they weren't voting. Do you think to, uh, this year it will change? I hope so, because I saw a lot of campaigns on TV, so I hope it has some effect. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any expectations of the result? Mm-hmm. You... No, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so, but what would you like uh, to be the result? you think that there's something um, for, that for Bulgaria will be really important to happen today? I think it would be good to have more young people as our representatives because mm, Bulgaria has been changing a lot in the past and we need young people who are going to be leaders in the future. Mm, uh, we were talking about that. Do you think that young people is more interested uh, here in Bulgaria about Europe or not? Really? I think they are, yes, mm. because many people have studied in Europe mm-hmm. and they probably understand more about life outside of Bulgaria. More than older people, I mean. Yes, yes. Here in Bulgaria, the older people, they haven't traveled as much, so they just, I think they don't know as much about Europe. <laughs> mm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, first of all, your names are? Pavel. Pavel and Tinito. Okay, so why do you think it's important to come today to vote? Ами, защото това зависи и пълъше от нашите гласове. Have you seen a lot of people coming today to vote? Мислите, че много хора ще дадат днес да гласуват? Като гледаме, доста ниска активността. Probably no, the activity is not so much, not so high today. So, um, that it's not good. Uh, Uh, I will give one question. Uh, 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 <laughs> на колко години си сега? 15. 15. А, имаш време за следващите избори. Да. <laughs> а мислите, че заради това, че са Европейския парламент, е така ниска активността, ако бяха местните избори. Може би ще, ще да е малко по-висок. So what are your expectations for today's results? Ти го очаквате като резултат от нас. Няма, чак. Не знам. It's without expectation. 
Uh -huh. And do you think the um, interest on uh, European Parliament will change in the future or not? Uh, yeah. The interest of the people in coming to uh, vote? I think that the interest of the people in the European Parliament has changed in the future. Yeah, the the father it's hope, <laughs> but the girl say that uh, the her, her generation it's not so many in this topic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. they didn't discuss a lot of about the topic. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> To ensure a whole perspective of the reality, we've also had the chance to speak with some of the volunteers designed to supervise the process of voting. They spend the whole day in the polling stations checking how everything works and most of them have lived that experience in previous occasions. The first question is uh, how has been the morning till now? Yeah, not so many people are here. Expect them afternoon, but so maybe more in the afternoon. Probably a day hope. Uh -huh. Okay, and um, do you think there has been a change between other years and now? No, it's not. The, the lady, it's, uh, it's in the commission all the time in each uh, election, so he, she has this observation. And she, she thinks that it's nothing, it's a difference between the previous and nowadays. Yeah, it's more or less the same. Yeah, it's the same, yeah. And, and uh, have they seen something uh, irregular, something that things are working well? or? Nešto което смятат е, че работи добре по време на изборите, че подкрепя по някакъв начин на активността на хората и ги насърчава. No. А дали има в секцията тук в училището, дали има от тези машините за ритуално гласуване? Ами, мисля, че в две от секцията в училището има. Но в Куиста е едната. 23 е едната. И 32 е едната. А хората имат ли интерес към гласуване електронно? Питат ли? Аз като програмист мога да ви кажа, че бих предпочела електронно. А хората, които идват да гласуват? Uh, because for the first time uh, we have these uh, machines for electronic electro electronic they have two machines here in this school but uh, only the young people asking yeah. for this opportunity the observation is that the, the old generation because they don't know how to use in this and they, they did not interest at all the lady is um, it's a programmist this education so she continued to use in the computers and the equipment but my uh, observation is that people don't uh, ask him for this I don't know how to use it mm -hmm. and do they think that um, the, uh, for the elections there should be more communication for the people to come to vote or mm, again like um, it should be like the campaign should be more uh, closer to the people to come to vote мислите ли че кампанията предизборната кампания предварителната не е била достатъчно комуникативна и достатъчно ясна за хората и това може да е причина да ги няма тук или
много етни. Независимо да беше if we will be for a Bulgarian parliament or for a local authority, just because people don't believe anymore in the, some changes, at least uh, the... Um, uh, at least uh, a lot of people feel themselves as uh, cheating a lot of and nothing was changed after the elections that they came. So the last uh, years, people, it's a totally out of... Uh, they don't want to, to vote because they didn't believe that something will be changed. And this is it's, uh, some tendency. Yeah, some, like some trend? Th- yes, uh, yeah, some trend that's repeating each election last Yes, uh-huh. not, not only because this is for European Parliament, it's a general. general. Yeah. yeah, okay, I think it's not. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>
From Arcas Radio, we believe that young generations have a lot to say about this matter and about its possible future. That's why we'd like to give them some space in our podcast to listen to their opinions and ideas about the current situation related with the European politics and their possible trend. Let's listen to them. I'm voting for the European elections. I still think they are the most underrated, but yet the most critical elections that European democracies have at this point. And now, more than ever, we are facing very important issues for our democracies, namely the rising up of the far right, the refugee crisis, and other very fractured political uh, issues that we really need to be involved in this. Uh, we really must engage in it at this point. And to say the opposite reveals a, a lot of naivety and uh, ignorance about the topic. For me, it was the first time that I voted abroad uh, from uh, outside of Portugal. I've been living here in Bulgaria for six months. And actually, it was a very straightforward process. I just uh, changed my location on my ID uh, some time ago. I uh, asked uh, how it was uh, according to vote. And basically, it's the same process. We have uh, the, the <clears throat> voting table set up from, the, from Saturday to Sunday. I went there yesterday on Saturday, I put my vote, there was uh, some people watching over the, the procedures and it was a very no a normal process but I'm very happy that uh, there is this kind of mechanism where you can vote anywhere you want as long as you follow the bureaucratic procedures. And now <laughs> we will see how, how it goes uh, for, for this. Actually in Portugal the abstention is very very big, I just read now in the news like only 22% of the voting population uh, made their right to vote. And uh, I think we need to uh, have a bit more in of engagement. My name is Nina, I am from Germany. I was voting in the European elections by postal vote. So I applied to get the letter to vote. Then it was sent to my parents at home in Germany. Then they sent it here to Bulgaria. Then I voted and then I sent it back to Germany. So it was pretty complicated. I don't know, I think it could have been a little bit easier, but you had to apply much earlier. And of course, three months before the elections, a lot of people don't think about applying to vote later. So it was quite complicated and I did it this way, but I was lucky because my parents helped me. They got the letter, they sent it here and it was a really long procedure. And in the end, I don't even know if the letter will be there in time. I hope so, because I sent it last week, but we don't know. <laughs> so for the first question, I do think it's important to vote, to vote for the European Parliament because we live in Europe and we are a member state of the European Union. So the people who will represent us will in a way, change our future and shape it. So if we want to have a say and if we want to influence and if we want to have a maybe indirect impact but, but still an impact on how our future will be changed, then we should definitely vote. So for the... Second and third questions, I don't really think that people are generally very interested in these elections because they are not um, the elections of the state, they are elections on a higher scale and I don't think people understand that these elections are very important uh, and so they, if they don't think they're important they won't really go and vote. Mm. However, again, I think we should all vote because this is our future we are voting for. Um, for the fourth one, I don't know if the people will change the perception of Europe and the elections, but I think more and more younger people are interested in politics and in Europe and what's going on around um, in the world. So 
what I saw, younger people people want to um, have their voices heard, and I think that that's why um, more of us are voting and more of us voted at those last elections. And I think that we can change our future by by being active in the politics and in all the other walks of of our society. And about the other countries, I think it might be different and that different difference comes from the fact that maybe the younger generations are more involved in what's going on around them and they are more educated and being educated from a young age. So that's maybe a difference between us and the other European states. After listening to all these considerations regarding the last European elections, what do you think about the topic? With this episode, we wanted to put Europe and its institutions on the spotlight, know what is the real situation outside and think about how we can change it. We have been given a right that some countries are still fighting for and we should use it in the society behalf. You can share your opinion with us about the topic in social media at Open Space Foundation Facebook and Instagram account. This has been our program today. We'll come back next month with a new edition of Arcas Radio. Stay tuned, you can't miss it.